What's up everyone? Chris here with Active Van Conversions. Behind me is our latest van conversion. This is the Cypress 170 floor plan on a 170 all-wheel drive Sprinter. Let's show you around. Alrighty, here's this beauty. So, Cypress 170 floor plan. Got the third seat option here. Here's your shower, has a toilet inside. Kitchen with the induction stovetop queen size bed, microwave up top, air conditioning, Dometic fantastic vent. And here is your bench seat that also houses your fridge and freezer. Dual zone Dometic CFX 95. These seats swivel to a central table that's a removable telescoping table. Here's another look at the outside. We did the awning up top Aluminous side steps, black rhino, arsenal wheels with the BFG KO2 AT tires, light bar up top, uh, FVC nudge bar with the Baja Designs LP6 lights. Those are super bright. All right, let's get a little bit more in depth on the inside. So Cypress 170 floor plan, um, we have a couple different variations on this floor plan. This customer chose the third seat option. I'm now sitting in that passenger seat swivel chair. Um, what we can also do is remove this third seat and extend that kitchen out pretty much as far as you'd like and add like another set of drawers to that kitchen lower, extend it out further. We could also do another captain's chair there um, instead of that fridge bench seat and then put the fridge uh, as a stand-up fridge uh, in, in the kitchen lower there. Overhead storage. These are on pneumatic struts. Here's your headliner storage. Usually store the table up here on the telescoping mount and then like any sort of like window covers or extra bedding. Here's a control panel, inverter, uh, charge controller, battery monitor, little USB outlet, fresh tank level, gray tank level, a bunch of switches. We make these panels custom in house, powder coat them. Here's our logo. Switch on a dimmer. And another 110 volt outlet there. Sink, these are awesome. The customer opted for this stainless steel sink. Um, this is our stainless standard option. We also do matte black if you'd like as well nice faucet induction stovetop plenty of garage space under there we'll get back there here in a little bit show you the shower so this is a 32 by 24 inch shower pan houses your toilet inside and um yeah we really really enjoy having this much shower space in a in a van so queen size bed 80 by 60 well 60 by 80 so it's an actual queen size bed back here customer opted for a tv right here so this is on a swivel mount let's see if i can do this with one hand so like if you're in bed you know you can be watching this like so and it just folds back i'm super ocd so it has to be straight and then uh yeah you got overhead storage on both sides same thing with the pneumatic struts. Microwave right here. Okay, so let's get into the garage space. Walk around back, I'll show you also the exterior. I know we touched upon that Fiamma FADS awning up there, comes out about eight feet. Uh, we boost up top, did a bunch of Al Vans products on the rear, so we have the Sherpa carrier on the passenger side rear door, Expedition large box. Uh, we do a custom shovel mount and custom jerry can mount on the Sherpa as well. Here is the ladder tire combo from Owl. On this side, uh, we went with the Illuminous side ladder because we did the Illuminous side steps. So Illuminous side ladder, surf pull, and then the two pairs of surf hooks on this side. 
All right, let's get to the back. Here's a good visual of from bed looking back into the van. And we can do, you know, custom colors, shiplap, whatever you want on, on that side. Garage is nice and open. So this spans the full length of that bed. So it's 80 inches long by uh, about 40 inches wide here. And then we can also make the bed uh, basically up to 40 inches tall if you wanted to fit mountain bikes back here on like a slide mount. Uh, this side is plumbing. You have your fresh water fill here and this is an outdoor shower on a quick connect. We give you a suction cup mount that can mount right here. And then if you want to use outdoor shower, you can or spray off stuff. Electrical on this side. Quick view of that. And then let's take a walk around this side. On the roof, we have 400 watts of solar, as well as a Starlink connection up there as well. This van is super optioned out. Um, really enjoyed this build. Customers are gonna be picking it up tomorrow, so excited to see their reactions. Um, yeah, another Cypress 170 out the door. I think this is our seventh Cypress 170 floor plan we've completed. People seem to like this one quite a bit. Thanks everybody for watching. We're Active Van Conversions. Shoot us an email if you're interested in a build and we'll see you on the next one.